All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. So uh, what we're doing in this video is going to be making a little modification to the suspension on the truck. Um, as you can see from our last video, here's the 7x14, our trailer, the sure track. And what we're doing is <clears throat> we're going to be doing the modification of suspension system using the uh, Timberins. These are the rubber stoppers. Um, so with these trucks and most half-ton trucks, there's a stopper that's put in the back that you got that in there, Ev? Yeah, see the see orange that. thing, guys? Oh, Evan's going to zoom in on it. Where is it, buddy? You can barely see it. It's right okay. in there. It's a rubber stopper. Looks like a Pringles can. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the factory one is real small. We'll do a comparison when I get the old one out. This is a Timberin. This is aftermarket. This is much larger, rounder, uh, much more girth, much longer. Uh, and it should prevent the truck from squatting. So what we're going to do is take measurements of the truck. Um, as it is sitting on its stock ride height, unloaded. And then we're going to drop the trailer onto the truck. And then take the measurements of the trailer on the truck. With the stock rubber stoppers in it. And we'll show you guys the amount of drop in the rear and lift in the front. And then we're going to install the timberins and do the third measurement. Which is going to be the truck with the, load, with the trailer load it onto the truck with the timberings on it to measure out the differences. So let's get a let's get a measurement on the stock ride height here. So this is stock for this truck. It's going to be 38 and 5 eighths roughly for the rear. Mark that down. My paper. Paper's in the back here guys because it really really would be out. We got 38 and 5 eighths. You got a good shot of that, Rod? Yeah. 38 and 5 eighths for the back. Let's check the uh, stock right height on the front. Uh, about 36 and I'm going to call it a quarter, guys. 36 and a quarter for the stock right height on the front. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna lower the trailer onto the truck in the back, and then we're gonna remeasure the heights. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, you can see we got the trailer completely un uh, off this jack, loaded back up onto the truck, and uh, we're gonna redo our measurements. Give a shot of the truck, Ev, with the trailer on it. So I can tell you right now, looking at the back, let me see, pal. Looking at the rear end, there definitely is uh, a drop there. I didn't measure nothing yet, but probably around an inch, maybe a little more. And the front has a little bit of lift on it. That's the 7 by 14 on the stock suspension, 1500 Ram 2020 with the Hemi in it. Um, so what we're going to do now is take the measurements of the drop on the rear and the lift on the front. And uh, give you some numbers here. Okay, for our rear, we have 37, and I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna say almost 37 even. Yeah. 37 even. I can find my pen. So it looks like an inch and uh, we went from 37 and 38 and 5 eighths to 37. So that's an inch and five eighths for the drop. And the lift on the front, we're looking at, I'm gonna call this 36 and a half. So we went from 36 and a quarter to 36 and a half in the, in the front. So we lost, we raised up about a quarter of an inch in the front. So about an inch and a five-eighths drop in the rear and a half inch lift in the front on the truck. With the 
trailer loaded up. That's 30, I'm gonna say that's about 3,800 pounds now with the sideboards on it. It was like 37 from the factory, so uh, that's worth 3,700 pounds. Empty seven by 14 trailer, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're going to unhook the hitch, I'm sorry, uh, lift the trailer, jack up the back of the truck from the hitch to lower the rear suspension down to keep it on the ground, pull them stock rubber stoppers out, and replace it with the timbers and give you some new measurements. All right, guys, the best way I could recommend doing this is to be safe. I am not an oil mechanic. So take your life in your own hands here. But um, I lifted the truck up by the uh, hitch here. Back wheels are still somewhat on the ground. Front is chocked. Um, so I'll take you under the truck. <laughs> Ooh, my hand was in the way there. So here we go. Here are your stock rubbers. Video's gonna get a little wonky, guys. Sorry. These should pop right out. Ugh, should be in the keyword. Ooh. There we go. These pop right out. Yep. So let's take this out and we'll compare it to the, uh, to the one we're putting in. All right, here we are. I can see these are the stock little stoppers and then these are the Timberlands. These you could barely move. These look, look at the movement in this. So these are the Timberlands here for the Ram 1500. The, those orange ones are the stock ones. So. This should be pretty easy to install. If you see there, I got a little bit of car wash. I'm gonna put a little bit of soap around this top rim here so they pop into place a little bit easier or smoother. And then um, that's it, guys. I think this is pretty much the most basic and simplest improvement you could hopefully make to the rear suspension on your half-ton truck. So uh, this is, again, stock. This is what Ram gives you from the factory for your 1500. Um, I'm hold on to these because I get take get rid of the truck, I'll reinstall them and put those back in. Um, and this should hopefully improve the ride quality of the truck with the load on it. I don't know how it's gonna be unloaded. Uh, I heard some conversations about a, a pretty stiff ride in the rear, but uh, mostly I use this truck for towing the camper and uh, for the load, like uh, dirt bikes, trailers, etc. anyway. So I'm not too concerned about that. But uh, all right, let's get these installed. All right, guys, so we got the timber in soaked up. I got one in place here um, where it should be. I'm gonna get the other one in place and then I'm gonna slowly lower the jack down to, uh, to get them to pop up into that perch there. So I'm just gonna get them lined up now and then uh, slowly lower them down, make whatever adjustments I have to make. And then uh, we should be done. That should be a pretty easy install. All right, guys, uh, we got the one side in, not too bad. I'll walk you through the other side. Um, I just had to really concentrate on what I was doing. I couldn't be filming here. So what you really gotta do is get yourself uh, two two by four blocks and that'll be able to give enough, um, enough of a, a raised support here to push this up in a place when you lower the truck down. So forgive me, I, I just wanted to get that other side done nice and safely. Um, I had Evan kind of like give me a hand here, so and he's not underneath the truck at all, but I had to really concentrate. But I'll move over to the next side and show you what we did. All right, guys, here we are now back to the driver's side. Passenger side is in, like I said before. Uh, secret is lube, guys. Secret of happiness. Uh, lubricate this well. Just use some soap. That's one thing I, I can tell you really probably helped the other side. Here's my two by fours. I'm going to get set up. Two by fours are going to go up onto the perch here. I'm going to put the timber in place here as best as I can line it up. It's not perfect, guys. And then ECM is slowly going to lower the truck. I will make some small adjustments along the way, nice and safely out of the way. Go ahead, ECM. Nice and easy. Good job, buddy. Looking good, looking good. Lower down, just that rate is perfect, buddy. Get a little more. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's it, guys. 
Surely down, Ev. All right, jack her up. And your timber in is in place. Take your blocks out. Lower her down, Ev. Go ahead. And there you go, guys. So, Ev, give me one of the stock ones. Thank you, pal. So, again, this is one of the stock ones. Oh, this is going to be difficult to do. Sorry, guys. But, uh, if you can, <laughs> there's a difference, kind of. A little off, but that's, you get the gist. So, very easy, probably took us. I was goofing around, guys. I had to find the right, I had to find two by fours. Uh, this should probably take you nowhere in 20 minutes to install these. Plenty of lube, guys. Use soap, dishwashing liquid, whatever you can, but you want to get that uh, lip lubed up on top of the timber and so it, it just slides right into place. And uh, you should be good to go, guys. So they're in there. They look like they're in there pretty securely. And then uh, we're going to move on to lowering the trailer onto the truck. All right, ECM is painstakingly lowering the tra <laughs> trailer onto the hitch. Let's keep an eye on the rear end when we get all the weight up. Weight down, forgive me. <laughs> That's almost it, guys, I think. Uh, get it all the way up off the ground, the plate. Yeah, keep your hands clear. Pull that pin. Nice. All right, guys. So that's it. That's the difference in the truck. We'll take our measurements now. Uh, I did notice to go down a little bit, which is to be expected, obviously. But uh, let's check the measurements and see what we got. All right, guys. We got the trailer loaded on. Um, let's take a look at what we have. So it looks like we are at 37 and an eighth as to where we loaded before. So it looks like an eighth of an inch. We're at 37 loaded before on the stock to uh, stock stoppers. And we gained an eighth of an inch. So it's an eighth of an inch less squat in the back of the truck. Here in front. So for the front, it looks like we have 36 and just over 36 and three eighths. So. Those are the final numbers, guys. So, you already got there. So, it should be right now. Let me go underneath there, what I have. It should be sitting on the timberings now, as opposed to before the rubber stoppers weren't even met. Yep, here we go. So now the truck is sitting on, uh, utilizing the timberings right now. So we have an, it looks like an eighth of an inch less squat in the rear, as opposed to the stock stoppers that were in there. And we um, gained, I believe it has to be an eighth of an inch up front. So uh, let me just go over those numbers one more time. I'm horrible with math guys. So if you have any contractors or people give us measurements. So the rear loaded, Without the timberins, we went from 37 to 37 and an eighth. So the truck squatted less than an eighth of an inch. And then 36 and a half was the height on the front. With That was the raise we had on the front without the timberins. And 36 and three eighths is what we got. So definitely an improvement. 
as far as the the squat on the truck but where we should be seeing the big improvement is when there's a load additional load put in that trailer now or or in the back of the truck those timberings will now be taking over the work of um what would be that dead space between your coil springs and the perch so we're going to take her out for a ride and see how the ride quality is we're going to get it all set up all right guys so we're in for the truck for our initial test ride of an empty trailer with the timber ends and uh definitely a lot less bouncier it's relying less on the uh coil springs i can tell you still has a little bounce to it but again i think i'm not really gonna notice much until i get a load in the trailer so uh pulling good the uh Emmy obviously does a great job towing. It's mostly the weight I'm concerned about with with having that 7x14 with the load in the trailer. But again, I know you can hear me repeat it a bunch of times. I'm not going to be hauling anything extremely heavy. Um, the trailer is probably weighing in around 3,900 pounds right now. I don't remember. I think this has a 9,000 pound tow capacity in the truck, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, <clears throat> so mostly doing just the junk removals and cleanouts, guys. And uh, hey, if I see the trailer getting loaded up too heavy, I just dump it and come back and do what I got to do. But uh, so far, so good, guys. Very easy installation. Those are about 200 bucks or 220 bucks off of Amazon. You could probably find them cheaper somewhere else. I don't know, but I'll add a link to the description of the video. And uh, so far, so good, guys. We'll, uh, we'll keep you updated with some new videos and some newer posts uh, as far as progress goes on the, uh, the trailer and modifications that adaptations I make to it for our needs but I just thought we'd take you along for a ride with the timber and installation and the uh, the, uh, the difference again so when you look at those numbers you're not seeing a huge difference in um, in measurements difference uh, but a quarter of an inch is actually pretty good when you have um, when you're talking about plane suspension and travel height etc and again these things should come to life really when there is an additional load in that trailer so this truck should not be squatting much after, you know, I get a, maybe a ton and a half in the back there. That's when these timberings, I think, are really already uh, are really going to make a difference. Um, but again, we'll uh, we'll keep you guys posted. Um, I'll give you an honest review of them uh, as as time goes on. Um, and uh, but I was really surprised that Dodge or Ram, forgive me, with. The initial stoppers they have in there those things are pathetic they're small i guess you know uh that's what they have in there for a reason but um that's just that's unacceptable in, in my opinion for uh for for a pickup truck but again this is a light duty 1500 ram i guess it's really not meant to be towing over 10,000 or 9,000 pounds for whatever uh this truck is geared to and uh the suspension is set up for this is more or less to just improve, hopefully, the ride quality, even with the camper. I'm hoping so. We'll keep you guys posted. What do you got posted? What do you got to say, Ev? Oh, uh, it's pretty cool. I never really seen them before, and I wonder if. How was the installation for you, buddy? Um, boring. Easy. Boring. <laughs> Evan was the jack man, so he was in charge of uh, the jack, controlling the jack. Here I am stopping. I have the trailer brake set up, guys. No problem at all whatsoever. Uh, truck is pulling the trailer just fine. We, uh, we're we gonna put, cut through this parking lot. We're gonna wash the truck one more time and the trailer, clean it up. And then I'm going to uh, use those pictures for our um, advertisement post for uh, the trailer, the dumpster rentals and clean outs. A nice clean truck and trailer. And then hopefully we should get some feedback with some uh, potential work down the road, guys. We'll keep you posted. All right, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. All right, guys, so here we are. Complete package. Looking at the truck and trailer all hooked up on pretty level ground. Truck is nice and clean, trailer is nice and clean, and I think we're ready to uh, put it to some work and start making us some money. What do you think, Ev? Yeah. So we're gonna probably do some trailer, renting out the uh, dump trailer, and then doing some junk removal uh, on our own if people need it. If they don't feel like loading up the trailer, we'll do it for them. And uh, I'm excited about this new journey. How about you, ACM? Yeah. What is your favorite part about all this, you think? Uh, no idea. <laughs> Learning to build the trailer aside. So we did a lot, guys. This kid really helped me do everything. Soup to nuts. Uh, one thing we are going to do, bring it here, Ever, we'll show him. One change we're going to have to make. Go ahead, bud. Go up to the, up to the back. 
It was with the carriage bolts on the inside. Come on in here, Ev. You see how these carriage bolts are kind of uh, hanging out? I'm gonna recess these. I'm going to bring them in, into the two by 12. Uh, I wanna bury the nut. Uh, oh God, don't take that. Let's reword that. I want to uh, keep this nut inside the wood here. And I'm gonna shave off this um, remainder bolt because I have a funny feeling things are gonna catch on this. And it's not gonna be that difficult of a job to do. Um, I'm gonna have to take the carriage, but I'll do one at a time. I'm gonna get some type of bit that I can just recess it. Man, probably even just a wood, a spade bit to get in there, just to make a recess and put suck those uh, those bolts in a little bit. But let me see, bud. What do you think so far, pal? Uh, I don't know. Uh, Evan is pretty excited, as you can see. So um, here we are, finished product. Side walls are all up. Trailer is spotless clean. She's charged. Truck is clean, ready to go. It's got a nice stance. I'm confident in the way it rides and handles. We're not going to have any problems, but. Uh, I'm excited, guys. Ready to start putting this to work. All right, guys. Hope you're having a great day. The weather turned beautiful. The wind kind of stopped. And uh, we're going to move on. We'll keep you guys posted. Like I said, we're probably going to be starting up another channel just for this purpose. I don't want to confuse the two channels. And I think Evan and I have a real good um, a real good audience that may not be interested in this type of work. Um, so we'll keep you guys posted when we start up our new channel just for the junk removal um, and the trailer rental. Uh, dump trailer rental, dumpster rental, whatever you want to call it. Some people call it different things in different places. But here we are. Looking forward to uh, your comments. Please like, subscribe, share, leave your comments with any thoughts you think. Um, any improvements we could make besides a three-quarter ton truck, guys. I know that. That's going to be down the road, and this is, uh, this is it for now. So we'll catch up with you soon.